this election is so stupid because no one's talking about the fact that we are not voting on those people who really control things. Those people we really should be interested in instead of the carnival of an election that we have going on. That's why this story is so important because at all its stupidity, it's about those people. Those people who just got together for their secretive annual gathering called the AEI World Forum. AEI stands for American Enterprise Institute. Those people all get together every year at a super swanky resort in Georgia, the Sea Island Resort. This meeting is so secretive, I dare you to Google it and find even one result that doesn't include the word secret in it. But still, details always manage to slip out, as they are wont to do, and Bill Crystal, editor of The Weekly Standard, just leaked a whole bunch from this year's annual gathering. First, let's start with who those people actually are. The people who actually attended this meeting. Ready for the list? In part, Apple CEO Tim Cook, Google co-founder Larry Page, Tesla's Elon Musk, Mitch McConnell, Carl Rove, Paul Ryan, Tom Cotton, and a bunch of other influential Republicans. Philip Anschutz was there, a billionaire GOP donor. The publisher of the New York Times, Arthur Sulzberger, also there. All of these people. They all flew to this posh resort in Georgia on their private jets, as detailed by federal aviation records, to get together for their annual secretive gathering. Now let's talk about what those people were actually talking about, because that's what makes them those people in the first place. According to Crystal's emailed report from the gathering, it was all about how to stop Trump. All these Republicans and moguls are all worried about Trump, because he's not one of those people. So they aren't sure how they'll control him. Carl Rove gave a presentation about focus group findings on Trump. Can you imagine Carl Rove giving a focus group? Now, they didn't just discuss how to stop Trump. They also had a lot of conversations about how Trump happened in the first place to better understand it all, according to the Huffington Post's report on the meeting. Which is pretty funny that the Huffington Post had some anonymous sources at the meeting of those people too, right? Funny how that works. So yeah, until we get to vote on those people, this election to me is just pretty stupid. Tonight, let's talk about that.